Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my September favorites. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I've been loving over the last past 30 days, just keep on watching. Come on! Okay guys, so I'm going to get into all of the items. I'm not going to get into it into any like in any particular order or anything. I'm just gonna start picking up what I have and sharing what, or the reason why I like it. If I have items that are similar, I'll try to keep them categorized like within the same like family, if you know what I mean, so it doesn't get too confusing or too all over the place. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Some of these items are gonna be like older items that I've used in the past that I'm just bringing back into my daily routine or just like my makeup routine or my wardrobe or whatever the case may be and I'm just like falling in love with them all over again and then some of the items are brand new and I've just fallen in love with them over the last month some of them I've been using a little longer and just come to the conclusion that they are a must-have in my life so I hope you guys have some fun with this I want you guys to let me know what you guys been using down in the comment box below or if you use any of these products um, throughout. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this cute little handbag. This has been my favorite handbag for the last month. I got the opportunity to wear it only a few times. I'm going to try to figure out some more outfits that I can rock this with, but this thing is absolutely freaking adorable. I did pick this up in Chicago at Akira's. I do not have an Akira here in California, which is really unfortunate because the store is absolutely amazing and it has so much to offer at a reasonable price. They're always having sales in that store and a lot of the items in there are absolutely like now items, like trending items. So I think that's a cool spot if you haven't tried Akira out. I definitely recommend you getting online and trying some of the products out um, because like I said, they have so much to offer. But I did pick this up at Akira, or Akira, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And this is just a handbag. They were having a sale, buy one, get the other one 50% uh, off. So one of my girlfriends decided that she was gonna pick it up too. I'll leave a picture of us right here. We actually, I don't know if we took a picture with them together, but I definitely have a picture from that night when we went out. It was so much fun. Um, I did spend quite some time in Chicago and this was one of the little gems that I brought back. It has, it kind of reminds me of the Chanel, um, what is it? Not the, it's like, is it the caviar? One or the other. It, it reminds me of the Chanel like classic handbag. That thing is like $5,600. Um, of course, if you're gonna get like the jumbo one like I like, but this is um, obviously like a cute little small one. I like it because you can wear it around like as a crossbody, or you can um, go ahead and put the crossbody in the inside of the bag. It has this cute little like clasp. You open it up and it fits quite a bit of stuff in here. I did have some lipstick and some gum from the night that I went out, but I can fit so much stuff in here. Um, let's put my lips so I'm not like sweating through this whole damn video like I usually am. Okay, so I can, I can fit like my phone in here. I can fit a lip gloss as you can see is in there already. I can fit like a compact if I wanted to. There's just a little hand lotion. Like there's just so much stuff you can fit in this bag. And I like that this is kind of rubber or like the material of it is rubbery. So it's easy to clean and I feel like it's not gonna get damaged. Super, 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 super adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a photo right here of me wearing it. And she just looks so cute. I've been absolutely in love with her. And she was a reasonable price, um, $30. And again, I did go ahead and get the discount because I purchased it with my friend. So if you guys haven't tried out Akira, I'm gonna show you guys how I rock it when I wear the clasp in. If you guys haven't tried out Akira, I definitely, or Akira, I would definitely try them out because they just are, have so much cute stuff in there. I was so mad that I didn't get it right away because I missed out on this black purse that I really like. But as you can see, she's freaking gorgeous, honey. I'm just absolutely in love with her. Ah! 
So let's go ahead and get into the next item. So now that we're on the topic, like sort of, kind of, like outerwear, body, da 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 da, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys my absolute favorite of the month body scrub. You guys know me, I love a body scrub, I love to exfoliate, I love it, I love feeling soft, I love smelling good. It's just the greatest combination of those two in this jar right here. So this is a body scrub that I got from R&B Fragrances. This is in the fragrance Coconut and I believe it's mixed with Jamaican Me Crazy which is another scent that's ugh, freaking delicious. So I've been using this. This is my this is my second one. I actually have one that's in the shower that's already running out. This one's already running out as well. As you can see, it is a good sized jar. What I do is after I wash my body, which this company does offer so many other things besides body scrub and I'm going to get into that in just a little bit because the company is freaking amazing. They make really great homemade products and at an affordable price. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to have their uh, link down in the description box below. I'm going to see if I can get a discount code from them, but if I can't, I will definitely go ahead and just link them down below. Their prices are reasonable already, so it's not going to be too expensive. What I do is I wash my body first, um, and then I go ahead and I'll like stick my two fingers in here, and I'll pull out like a good size like glob out. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way with this product. And I just rub it into my hand, and then I start rubbing it all over my body. Now, what you could do. And I do sometimes when I'm in a, like a little bit of a rush, but I still want to get like nice and exfoliated is I'll mix it with my body wash and I'll do it all at the same time. Now you can use a lot less when you're using your body wash because the body wash is going to spread it around even more. But I feel like it's a nice combo, especially if you're somewhere like a hotel or something um, where you're using like body wash that they provide those sometimes can be like a little drying and like harsh on your skin this is nice to combine it with because it's going to revamp the moisture into your skin the products in here are absolutely amazing and again it smells freaking phenomenal um i have to freaking mention just because i've been using um their candles as well as they have some amazing scented candles like girl I don't know if you guys watched my last video, but if you did, you guys seen I had a pink candle burning there. It's gone. I burned the shit out of it. I burned the crap out of this one. I am just, I'm already going to be finished up with this one pretty soon, as you can see. And I'm just in love with them. They smell so amazing. This one is Ocean Breeze. This has to probably be my absolute favorite. There's so many more that I haven't tried yet, but so far this has been my favorite. I'm not even kidding you. I don't even have to light this. I just take the cap off of this and leave it in the boys' restroom and it just smells so freaking good. You can smell it coming through the restroom, through the door, like, I don't even have to light it. But when I do light it, girl, it is all through the house. It smells so amazing and it takes forever to burn down, which is what I love about it. Because I'm an avid candle buyer or purchaser and they either, there's always something. Either it, the wick burns out too quickly and um, the product's burning and messing up the wick or you know it doesn't smell strong enough. There's just always something with um, purchasing candles unless I'm getting like a good uh, Yankee candle which is very expensive or I'm purchasing Bath and Body Works which the products they use in there are not the best and their fragrances to be honest in my personal opinion are not the best especially their holiday scents I really don't care for them now this brand is an amazing homemade brand if you guys um, are interested in like holiday scents or anything like that they are going to be having some great scents coming up for the holidays she also customizes them so if there's like a particular candle that you love or fragrance that you love for instance like a perfume or anything she can formulate that into a candle so I think just the options that they offer with this company is just amazing and again like I said they offer so much more besides the body scrubs candles and the stuff that I personally have picked up um, they offer like soaps 
and a lot of other cool stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and again leave their information down in the description box below, but that has been my favorite. It has just been making me feel so soft. It's been helping out with um, I personally feel like the exfoliating has been helping a lot with these stretch marks that I have here in my arm area. I just feel like they're a lot less noticeable ever since then and I'm really, 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 really happy about that. So since we're on the topic of like, you know, skincare body, blah, 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 I'm going to go ahead and mention my favorite shampoo and conditioner at the moment. Right now, I am out completely of the shampoo, so I only have the conditioner to share with you guys, and it's pretty much out. Um, and that's kind of shocking because I usually am out of the conditioner before I'm out of the shampoo, so that's really like a pleasant surprise. Um, but I'm talking about the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk shampoo and conditioner this is a three in one I absolutely have been loving this stuff I'm really skeptical sometimes when it comes to like you know no sulfates no parabens stuff like that because they don't work the way that you're used to having your normal like shampoo and conditioner work they don't tend to set up and you guys know that's a big deal for me I personally need like a lather and this shampoo and conditioner they are amazing, especially when you pair them together. The shampoo lathers beautifully, but it doesn't have any sulfate in it. It's nice and all natural. It's just cleaning your scalp and your hair, and it just feels hydrated when I'm done with it. But it, you can tell that you definitely got a nice, good, clean scalp and hair lather. Like, girl, that's like one of my biggest things. I need to see the lather and I need to see the gunk coming out of my hair and I definitely feel that way. I don't want to feel like a film or I don't want it to be too dried out and I'm definitely very pleased with this because you guys know I'm always using my Biolage. It's usually what I stick to but ever since I've been using this I've been very pleased. Again, it's super affordable. I did pick mine up at Target and I feel like it's personally lasted me for quite some time. So again, talking about hair, I've been wearing my hair in a combination of ways lately. I've been trying to get more creative and falling back in love with doing my hair because I don't know, I just, I've lost, I've lost my interest in hair lately and I don't know why, but I'm trying to get it back. And lately I have changed a couple of my products. I always use a lot of Shea Moisture products. That's just my preference. And even especially this coconut hibiscus line that they have. I've used their shampoos and conditioners. You guys seen so much of their stuff on my channel here before. But I have recently um, fallen in love with their curl enhancing smoothie. Now you guys are used to know I used to use a souffle. And I like it. I still really like it. But I feel like the oil in there is just a little much if you don't use a little bit so I have been trying this out I actually tried it out when I went to Chicago because I needed something to put in my bag that was like travel size so I picked up this one from Target because they had it in the little travel area and I was like wow they have Shea Moisture curl enhancing smoothie in their travel size let me go ahead and try this out now this thing lasted me forever I'm not even joking you I lasted three weeks plus in Chicago with this thing and I recently just emptied it out when I got home and I could probably still squeeze out a little bit more but I decided that I was gonna go ahead and buy the full size ones when I got home because I was that in love with it it smells so amazing it makes my curls look so good and it is like the texture of it is like a lotion but when you put it in your hair it coats your curls and just makes them look so so juicy and nice and moisturize like that's the one thing I cannot stand is when my hair is looking frizzy but I also don't want my hair to look crunchy or super oily and I feel like it allows my curls to look airy and breathable like like they're breathing my hair is bouncy I don't feel like it's being weighed down by this product or anything but it does add a nice coat of moisture and it makes my curls just look absolutely amazing I actually gave this product to um, one of my friends and she used it on her daughter and she's absolutely in love with this so she picked it up too so if you guys haven't tried this and you guys are looking for something for your curls to revamp them um, and just like trying something new I definitely recommend trying the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie um, this is with a protein and neem oil so this is great for define, defining and 
you know, moisturizing, moisturizing those curls. Now, I didn't realize how long this video is getting, and I don't want it to be too much longer, so I'm just going to get into these two products very quickly. Um, they are fragrance, they are oldies, but they are goodies. I brought them back into my, like, fragrance uh, little collection or whatever, or I brought them back out for my fragrance collection, and I'm absolutely in love with them all over again, and I don't know why I stopped using them. But I am talking about the Still by Jennifer Lopez perfume. As you can see, she's on the verge of being gone, honey. These are hard to find. You can usually find them at like Marshalls or Ross, TJ Maxx, those type of stores like Nordstrom Rack, stuff like that, as well as the Paris Hilton body spray. I usually use the perfume, but I've honestly been liking the body spray because I feel like it's not as strong as a perfume and you can get like a nice mist. Um, I feel like it does the job of the perfume, but it's just not as expensive and as strong. You can pick this up for $6.97 at Nordstrom Rack. I still have the tag on here, so if you guys just want to see, it's not expensive at all. So, but this one, I think I picked it up for $20. Um, I love this one. She's... She's like one of my favorites. I get compliments on this all of the time. So yeah. Okay, now another product I want to share with you guys. This has been surprising. Like a lot of these products this month that are my favorite are my favorites because they're surprisingly good. Now this is one of them as well. This product has taken me by freaking, freaking, sh I'm like shook. I've been so shook using this product. And it is the Press On Nails. Like... <laughs> You guys know I get my nails done um, professionally like they they I usually have acrylics on and these are like knocking them out the door like no tech who I don't need you okay guys so I look a little different right now but that's because I don't know what happened but I lost the ending of the footage I'm not sure if there's something going on with my memory cards that I have or something but I've been losing a lot of footage lately and it's getting very frustrating so I'm gonna go ahead and you know kind of like chime in where I, where I left off and I was talking about the nails since then I have got a new set of nails as you can see um, these are by Salon Perfect these are super super cute it has the little jewels with the chrome on them so it also has like the little Swarovski crystals which I think is absolutely adorable so much detail goes into this my hands are ashy, I apologize. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing a video on these press-on nails, like, look how good they are. They last for so long. And I'm honestly just so freaking surprised that I haven't found these sooner. So if you guys are interested in how I make them last, which ones I prefer, and just some, like, nice little tips and a dedicated video on the press-on nails, if you guys are interested, um, definitely leave me a thumbs up or a comment in the comment box below because I definitely can get that to you guys and I'm actually actually kind of really want to do that video so I'm hoping you guys are looking forward to seeing something like that as well um, so let me know about that but these have honestly been some of my favorites for the last month I have saved myself so much money and honestly money wasn't really the issue the whole issue was time for me I just haven't found enough time to go to the salon and get my nails done and then my guy was on vacation so just crossing each other's paths weren't as good as I was expecting so these have definitely held me over and they're doing the damn thing because they look super nice you can't even tell a lot of people don't even know that they're press-ons I don't even say anything lately because what's for what unless I'm like trying to let them know like girl you should cop these um, other than that they don't know but these have definitely been my favorites for the last month so if you guys haven't tried them out definitely check them out now the last item in my monthly favorites is going to be makeup related this is the Jackie Ina palette this is in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills and this palette is absolutely gorgeous and what I'm wearing on my eyes today I'm wearing this all over except for I have a little bit of the uh, glimmer shadow from Ace Beauty this is the Huckleberry um, right in the center but other than that that is completely all Anastasia Beverly Hills with Jack um, Jacqueline Hill with Jackie Ina um, and this palette has been 
I've been wearing this palette like probably every single day ever since I purchased it and if you guys haven't checked out a video or swatches I'll go ahead and leave one right here that I created for you guys I did three looks in one and this has honestly been my favorite palette um, for the last 30 days but I honestly say this is going to be um, in my top 10 I would say at least top 10 I'm not sure about top 5 if you guys are interested in seeing a video of my top 10 makeup palettes or eyeshadow palettes let me know because that, that'd be like a really fun video but that sums it up for my monthly favorites I know some of you guys are gonna be like what the hell Sasha September is like long and gone but these are definitely being used well into October and probably to the end of the year so if you guys are interested in seeing more of these videos or maybe you guys want to see them a little bit more spread out like every three months let me know what you guys think because I'd like to start sharing with you guys what I've been loving over the last few months just so you guys can like share with me if you use them and how you like them or if you guys have any things that you guys want to share with me I'd love to get um, the conversation started down in the comment box below so do chit chat with me I love you guys like always don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with somebody who might find it useful and if you guys are interested in this look I'll go ahead and leave a link right here for it I love you guys and I will see you guys next time Bye, y'all.